Hi guys, today I want to show you a book which is one of my favorites on the autumn equinox. It is written by Ellen Dugan and as you know she is one of my favorite authors on the craft. I've had this book for many years and I've read it a few times but I wanted to share it with y'all as the autumn equinox is coming on us really quickly. So let's take a peek inside. My particular edition is a first edition, second printing, copyright of 2005. So this book's been around for a while, but it has valuable information nonetheless. A quick glimpse at the table of contents. If you see any section in here you would like me to get into further, Please send me a message or comment, and we will go from there, of course. Mrs. Dugan definite, definitely did not leave any stone unturned in this amazing A lot of recipes and the last page of table of contents I love the beginning of the book the forgotten Sabbath no it's the season of the witch which is true a lot of people associate the season of the witch beginning in October I associate the season of the witch with the beginning of September as in September 1st that's when I feel the season of the witch begins. If you feel that it begins at a different date, that's great. That's what's wonderful about being an eclectic witch in this world. Here we have the story of John Barleycorn and the Lord of the Harvest. She goes through history of where the harvest come from. the different names, and the different things that they did during this time. Celebrating Autumn and the Harvest Today. September Sun Signs and Stars. In this section, she goes through all the sun signs and the correspondence for each. As For example, this is Virgo. If you would like to see your own, just let me know, and I will screenshot and send it to you. Autumn Fairy Meditation. Herbalism. And Libra. If you're a Virgo, Virgo or a Libra, I do have the information here. She has included spells. Here is a Full Moon Fairy Wisdom spell. Full moon group ri ritual, but as we all know, you can tweak any ritual to be solitary as opposed to group. There's a fabulous section on the harvest goddesses. So many harvest goddesses. I'm going to back this out so you can screenshot if you want. This is Pomona and Fall Apple Magic. I really like this. Next we have the gods of vegetation and vine. I know I saw Dionysus in this section. And here we go. Dionysus, god of the vine. The party god. We also have a lovely section on the green man. Which is always a wonderful section to have. Not a lot of people address this. Autumn magic with the green man. Antlers and acorns. The garden in autumn. Fall, flower, and foliage fascinations. We all love to see the leaves change. Being as Miss Dugan is a master gardener, she always includes a lot of information on gardening in the different seasons. I really appreciate that. 
and I do enjoy it very much, and this book does not disappoint in that aspect. U.S. Cold Hardiness Zone Map for Hawaii, and the same for the rest of the United States. Some of my favorite flowers, Morning Glory Vine Protection Charm. Autumn, my goodness, Equinox Enchantment, The Charm of Autumn. And we have a section on apples, and I see a little children's song, which includes the word goldenrod, of which I am highly allergic, so we'll hard pass on that one. But apples, I'm all over that. Pumpkins, my absolute favorite. There are pumpkins displayed in my house throughout the year because I do love pumpkins. And here's a section on the scarecrow and the history of the scarecrow. I love to scab scarecrows up around this time of year. We need to purchase a new one as our old one got damaged in one of our moves. Scarecrow magic. You gotta love it. Autumn candle magic. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I love candle magic and I'm quite proficient in it. Any book that has anything to do with any type of candle magic, I will buy because candle magic is my forte and I love it. Yes, I know this is at a distance. I will try to show it as best as possible. Let's zoom in a little. We have an Equinox Candle Ritual for Balance. We have a Solitary Autumn Equinox Ritual. If you would like to see these in more detail, please let me know. Now we have the Harvest Tide Feast. Miss Dugan has included several, several recipes. One that stood out to me was Ken and Ellen stuffing. Wonderful. This will be quite helpful for me this year. Pumpkin bread and applesauce cookies. I can't think of anything that screams Autumn Equinox or Maybon more than that. All purpose spell to bless food. Meal blessings and pagan prayers. We have a harvest prayer, general meantime prayer, Sabbath prayer. I really like that she did include this in the book. Next, we have a wonderful section on spell crafts and magical projects. Here we have grape wreath for autumn equinox and it tells you how to do it. She has included a few recipes for handmade soaps. One is lavender. This one is honey almond soap. And we have our correspondence charts for more autumn enchantments. This includes deities and stones, magical herbs, plants, and foodstuffs. And we have an autumn enchantment worksheet that you can make copies of or write it out on your own in your own book. Now we've reached the closing section of the book. Harvest Witch Blessing. And finally, the bibliography. Here's the back of the book. I believe I paid, I didn't pay $14.95, I paid about $12. And the front of the book is absolutely gorgeous. This book is dedicated to her children, which I think is beautiful. And as Mabon is one of my most favorite Sabbaths, I thought I would share this book. And I'm going to share the Mabon Sabbath Essentials with you as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video on Autumn Equinox by Ellen Dugan. Thank you for watching. Hello all my new subs. Thank you for subbing. Love you much. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye for now.